guys, so welcome to a new uh, exciting new episode of Southern Fried Tech. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, awesome little opening sound there, you know, starting off the compact Presario 5005 CL. So, got it powered on here and let's see what we got, what we're working with. And as a side note, uh, I started filming this and I uh, kind of lost my files on my SD card. I already found out that the D CD drives on the front don't work. Well, one doesn't work at all, and the other one is just simply not being read or not being detected. So, I already have. Hold on, let me see if I can get them. We got two replacements at this. Uh, Sony just CD basic CD rewritable and this new in box cyber drive 32x CD drive as replacements which we'll be doing in the next video but anyway let's see uh, see what device manager is here reporting for us and we can take a look at some of these specs so we got a dis western digital 40 gig hard drive uh, it's not the 60 gig hard drive that was on the label but It'll do. We got a GeForce MX 4000 graphics card, and just kind of running a quick Google Google search. Let's see what kind of while it opens up. Let's see what kind of whopping uh, specs we get this with this thing. Oof. We got 128 megabytes of of memory of uh, uh video memory. Oof, and it's DDR. Man, it came out December 14th, 2003. And it supports up to DirectX 7. Well, that's great. Make sure to use that for some cool gaming on this system. So, again, it's only picking up that uh, top Memorex drive, which unfortunately doesn't work. Uh, at least it doesn't, mechan physically it doesn't work. But, again, I don't really want them there because, well, they don't really go with the system. Let's see. Mm, anything else interesting here? Probably not. Oh, there's our modem. Got to name the Athlon processor. That's pretty cool. Oh, one thing I have noticed right off the bat is this thing is really slow. It's uh, a two fifty six is not a. Uh, it's not doing it any any favors but let's go into our properties menu right here it's an AMD Athlon running at 1.1 gigahertz which isn't too bad considering I have an old Pentium 3 which I believe is 800 or Pentium 2 um, and the other, but my biggest gripe is right here the 256 so I'm gonna have to go through my stock and see what I have to I have laying around to uh, basically boost that up but yeah basically what we have here is just nothing more than a basic install of Windows XP so let's see stretch there you go good old Windows XP um, I will be trying to go through like maybe the CD the the internet archive to see if I can get the recovery just to see what was actually on it but just as a basic install let's see what we got on here so we got Norton security suite uh, not really a Norton guy I kind of prefer when well at least the newer ones window defender or um, Mac not McAfee um, more bytes Nero so the Nero burning suite but uh, let's see Nero OEM Hmm. So I wonder if this maybe they did use the recovery, but I kind of doubt it. We got WinRAR. Probably let's see if it's uh, activated. Doubt it. Oh yeah, no. Nope. Oh, what else we got? We got Mozilla Firefox. Nah, I'm not probably not gonna run the internet on this thing. Yeah, and then you got your normal Microsoft programs. We got we got Microsoft Office 2003. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can. We can do a PowerPoint in style. Cool. Don't be so cool. 
and uh, got a regular games and regular accessories. Oh, I missed Spider Solitaire. One thing I have noticed, and I don't know if it'll come off at least this time around, but you can hear that the sound's a bit delayed, and I really don't know if that has to do with the memory or what, but... See? So, can't really do anything with that, but we can do something that I always like to do on Windows XP. So if you go to the C full, the C hard drive, you go into Windows and you go to System 32, and we're gonna look for the OOBE folder. There we go. And images. Where is it? Where is it? I believe it's called theme title. Sorry there, quick jump cut, uh, somebody came by at the door, but anyway, let's, uh, let's enjoy some out-of-box experience here. What else we got? We got shared documents. We got our old school sample pictures. Those are always cool. God, I miss those. JJ, what's this? Upgrade to Elite. This is some sort of HP thing. And this is, this is, oh, no, I'm not gonna use the internet on this thing. Oof. Photoshop, oh, oh my God, yes. Alright, well, not much to do as it is uh, just a basic, quick, uh, clean install of XP. Uh, next episode, we're gonna we're gonna start taking this sucker apart and we're gonna start upgrading to these discs. Hopefully, uh, the cables are in good shape. If not, I have an old Dell that I'm willing to basically scrap. Well, I am gonna scrap, but uh, we can definitely use some cables out of that. Well. Until next time, you guys. As always, you know, leave your uh, leave your likes, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thank you.